Here I have some um, uh, rather coarse lumps of iron oxide I've made, and I have here some aluminium powder. Now, I have tried making them like this before, but it's not been of the best quality, and mostly this is because the particle size of my aluminium is dreadful. So to fix this, I'm going to build something called a ball mill. Now the idea with that is you put um, all of the stuff you want ground down in a cylindrical container, uh, you turn it around slowly with some um, uh, hard, um, usually steel or lead balls in it, and that gradually grinds it down to a very, very fine powder. So now I have a motor here, it's a, um, a solar panel powered motor, and I'm going to build um, make a ball mill that will run on that. So the idea is I can just leave it on my windowsill with the solar panel set up and as soon as the sun's shining it through my room's window it'll just gradually powder this stuff down and I can leave it out whilst I'm away on holiday and things like that and it'll just um, work on making things whilst I'm away without me having to do anything or connect any power to it. So I'm going to use my new 3D printer to print off all the parts I need to make this and I'm going to design it on a program I have um, from university called SolidWorks. There are other 3D CAD software but since I have this one I might as well use it. So here is the completed um, mill. I have here also the inside area. So I can open this up. I can put in a bunch of sort of steel ball bearings. And on the other end, screws back on. Now there's a fair bit of flex in this plastic, so I can just put one end in, flex it open and just drop the other end in. Now both of these ends are on the uh, bearings, so it spins around nicely. Got a hole here on my motor. I'll just plug in nicely. So now all I need is something to connect this to there, so I need some kind of belt. I'm thinking the easiest way to do this is just to um, uh, use two sets pieces of tape. So I'm going to take out a piece of tape that I think is long enough. This should be good enough. I'm going to cut it long at the end. I'm going to have one piece laid down. Back so you can see what I'm doing. out a second piece that is the same length as that. Just cut the end, same way I did the earlier piece, my knife. And I'm going to lay this piece over the top of that facing the other way, so that the two sticky sides are meeting each other, but a slight offset, so that there's an overlap so on now, the I'm going to angle my camera, so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to lay it so that this side is facing outwards, and this side is facing inwards. I'm going to lay that over the top. This over the other side. Now the great thing with the two sticky parts is that what I can do is I can tension it and then put 
this bit down at the top here. And then the second bit can go onto here. So when this motor turns, it turns the mill with it. Just adjust the belt slightly. You don't want the belt too tight, you just want it tight enough that it turns the main section. Now to set it up um, somewhere where there's light and to see if it works. Now it's up on my windowsill and there's not quite enough sunlight at the moment for um, uh, it to run. So I'll just connect it slightly to some batteries I have and two connections work. Come on. Once it gets started, it'll keep going. And there we go. You can just put anything you like in that by unscrewing one of the ends and then you just leave it. And over a long period of time it will turn it into a nice fine powder. For about 12 hours or so in the ball mill, my sort of standard grade um, iron and aluminium mixture was able to be produced into a powder like this. So you can tell just from looking at this that this is very fine and it's going to work very well.